Welcome back to the channel. Today is Europe's Strongest Man 2023. And we've got some amazing events. We've got the log press. We've got a load and push, loading weight into a skip. Uh, we've got a deadlift, 350 kilo for reps. We've got Conan's wheel. And then we've got the Atlas Stones up last. Some amazing competitors here today. We've got Alexei Novikov. Pavlo, both from Ukrainian. Uh, we've got the Brits, we've got Graham Hicks, we've got Shane Flowers, we've got Adam Bishop, we've got Gavin Bilton. Uh, Konstantin Janashev from Georgia is here as well. So we've got some really big time athletes. These these are the guys that are going to be coming very close in the final at World's Strongest Man. Alexei Novikov has won it in the past. World's Strongest Man, that is. Uh, he's won Europe's as well. So uh, yeah, I think. Bish is hoping for a win today. And I mean, looking at who's who and who's what events are good, it is honestly open to anyone. Alexei Novikov, Adam Bishop, so many good events for different athletes. Hicks is in there, an amazing log presser, an amazing deadlifter. Bish is an amazing deadlifter, he's good at moving. He'll be amazing at the Conan's wheel. Um, so yeah, right. Your strongest man, 2023. See you in a sec. Right, the tension is high. Athletes are getting ready. Just spotted this tiny strongman here. Probably the smallest strongman out of everyone here tonight. What are you like, five foot two? Give or take. 50 kilo. Yeah. How tall are you and heavy are you really? Six foot six uh, and 182 kilograms. 182. To be fair, I'm 170. Three, four. <laughs> so, they're, so they're ten kilo between us. That's uh, how are you feeling, Gav? Yeah, I'm feeling good, Eddie. Um, just after Britain, I felt great. So hopefully, it's gonna, well, not hopefully, it will roll on into today, and I get to take on the best in Britain, uh, best in Europe. Sorry. You already qualify for World's Strongest Man, aren't you? You're already out there. Yeah, yeah. We fly out um, a couple of days, next weekend, and two weekends time. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. So training's been for that, but this is um, you know, the, the, the events are identical. So. So what's your frame of mind? Obviously, as you say, we're only 10 days away from flying out to Will's Strongest Man. You've got to have that in your mind. Obviously, injury prevention. What's the plan of action tonight? Are we going for it? Are we being conservative? Are we going to be sensible or are we just going to go balls out? Uh, I'm probably too stupid to try and be conservative, so I just want to go balls out. I'm, you know, injuries can happen any time. But you're going to know halfway through the show if you can get on that podium. Then maybe, you know, you sort of just enjoy the rest of the show. And just uh, and just do your your best to get out of this other other end with no injuries. Good to hear. Good luck, buddy. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Right then, event number one. Log press ladder, it's going from 120 kilo, 140, 160, 170, and then 180. Uh, there's probably a few guys here that can press 180 kilo. Uh, who do you think is going to win? I mean, Hixie's a brilliant presser. Pavlo, uh, Alexi. I'm going to go. I'm going to go between Alexi and Pavlo. They're both just so quick. It's not about who can do the 180, it's about how fast you can do it. So I'm going to go Alexi for the first event, probably very close second, maybe even even, uh, Pablo. So let's get into it. Believe. Believe. Be there, buddy. Let's go. A little 170, Novikov. Already at the 170 bill, and this is what counts. Right, first event down. The only one to complete all the logs was Pavlo. Second was Novikov. So I got the wrong way around. I said Novikov's going to win and Pavlo second, but there we go. Third was E4 Melstead, Avior Smuxtelis, Paul Smith in fifth. That's a brilliant result for Paul. Um, 
Denis Kolos, Kolos in seventh, Konstantin Janashia eighth, Gavin Bilton nine, John Stefan Karibouf in tenth, Shane Flowers and Pat O'Dwyer, and then Adam, Adam Bishop in last. That's a wounder, absolute wounder. Well done, sir. Thank you. <laughs> absolute phenomenal, mate. That was just like just the speed, the efficiency. Next, to, oh, so well done on that. Next event is the load and push. Feeling good about that? You're, you're obviously very fast. You're just like Novikov. You, you Ukrainians, you're just like super speedy. Uh, how are you feeling for the next event? I'm an, I'm an athlete, so it's a good event for me because I'm fast. I'm explosive. We'll see. Just need to need need to don't need to do mistake. Yeah. That's all what, what I worried about. That's exactly what it is. I mean, something like this, if you drop an anvil or drop a sack, that's the end of the race for you. So this is the, this is the target for you. You're going to be steady, composed, no mistakes. Yes, because uh, last year at Wolfgang's Man, I did, did some mistake and anvil drops down. So it cost me a lot of time. OK, no mistakes. Good luck, man. So this is the interesting bit that you guys don't really see much of is, you know, the guys warming up with the weights. Look at the size of that anvil. That is, you know, like you're getting the big eye uh, in the iron mongers. So you've got to pick these objects up, chuck them in a skip, run with the skip. Another object run, another object run. And half the battle is actually picking the object up from the floor, where to grip it, where to hold it on your chest. You've got to pick it up sideways, you've got to pick it up straight on. So this is what these guys are practicing right now. So uh, very important process. Right, next event is the load and push. So as you see, they've got to load three implements into a skip and only then can they do the 20 meter course with the weight in the skip. Got a 120 kilo anvil, 120 kilo sack and a 100 kilo tire. Where this is win up, won or lost, it's not so much tactics in that respect, but you could put weight to more, more towards the front. It'll make it easier in the hands, but will that create more un instability in the wheelbarrow? You know, it's... Uh, Bit of a tough one. Put it more towards the back, you've got more weight in your hands. But then, again, it's like, what, what works, what doesn't, nobody knows. Who's gonna win this event? It's gotta be the athletic ones, you know, the really lean athlete, because they're fast on their feet. These implements are heavy. You know, lifting a 120 kilo anvil is very dangerous. You've gotta do it for speed. So there's a lot of pressure on the biceps. <laughs> Bitch is going off now, so uh, I'll chat back with you after the event. Pavlo, Gordiaka, and Novikov, first and second, you can see. Pavlo's on fire, like 41 seconds. I think it's like a near 10 seconds quicker than the next rival apart from uh, Alexi. So, just on fire tonight. I mean, next event coming up, deadlift. I think, uh, I think Pavlo's an okay deadlift, he's not the best. Novikov is just phenomenal at rep events, so I think that's where he'll perhaps pick the points back up a little bit. And then Bish, I believe, uh, will be third on that. So again, he's redeemed himself a little bit from his last place in the first event. So uh, let's go have a little recap of the points and see where everyone is. Right, we've got the leaderboard here. In first place is Pavlo on 26 points. Second, Alexei Novikov on 24. Schmuck Stellis on 20. E4 Melstead on 15. Paul Smith on 15. And Gavin Bilton on fifth, uh, 13. Shane Flowers 12. Adam Bish at 12. So. I mean, wow. Pavlo and Alexi are getting ahead quite a bit. Uh, Smuck Stellis is right behind. So the top three are looking pretty much like the top three at this point. Um, that last event then, Pavlo doing in 44.14. I thought it was 41. So yeah, a good. I say Alexi was 46 and then right back was Shane Flowers, uh, 50. Avril Smuck Stellis on 50. Gavin Bilton on 51. So a good. A good swore, six seconds quicker than the rest of the field. That is uh, it's quite phenomenal, quite phenomenal. Next event is the deadlift, 350 kilo for reps. So this will be interesting. Novikov is phenomenal at rep events. Pavlo, honestly not too sure. Not really seen him do a deadlift rep event yet. So uh, 
Smucks Dallas, from memory, is a good deadlifter. I would say the rest of the fielder uh, got a lot to make up there. Bishop is a phenomenal deadlifter. It's going to be between Bishop and Alexei Novikov for the next event, so eyes peeled. So one thing I really like about these deadlift suits is the, the mangina they get at the front. Come on, let's have a look at your mangina. There we go. <laughs> Love it. How many reps, Paul? Six, seven on a good day. Six or seven. Six or seven. Gavin, how many reps? What, myself? Yeah. Oh, if I'm, uh, ten. Ten. Ten reps. Yeah, maybe you take it easy, like. One rep, okay. <laughs> how many reps, Bish? Uh, how many did you do? Nine. Uh, nine. I think I did 360, though. Uh, did you, oh, yeah, okay. I think it was 360. What did you do in Brits 2017? You did 350 for reps. No, I think it was your reps 2017. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, okay. 360 for 10 reps. I will right, we'll do one more than the next highest one. 11. <laughs> 11. 11. <laughs> Novikov, how many reps is going to win? Uh, I think first uh, place will be 10 reps. Is that you? I don't know. Okay, there we go. You heard it. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Adam Bishop here. In a, in a very compromised position. Got a large man with tattoos in his face kind of uh, slamming into my back. Slamming into, is that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've all been there at some point, <laughs> some point in our life. Yeah. And they always say, don't mock it till you try it. And it's, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> all right, I'm here with Mr. Shane Flowers. How are you, sir? How many repetitions was that on the deadlift? I think six. You think six? Yeah. Is that because you nearly died afterwards? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right then, guys, the next event is the Conan's Wheel. As you can see, you've got a big, massive quad bike. They've got to pick up and walk around in 360 degrees. The most rotation wins. Now, leading at the minute is Alexei Novikov in 36 and a half. Pablo's in second with 32. AVR Schmucksfellis in 30 and a half and six points behind is Adam Bishop. So that top three is actually looking pretty tight. Bishop's got some work to do to catch up here, but it's about 300 kilo in your hands, but then you've got to factor in the pulling it into the chest as well. So you're, you're probably talking about 400 kilo crushing on your chest. Every step you take, that air's leaving your lungs, so it's getting harder and harder every single step you take. So uh, the guys that are gonna win this is usually the Slender, the Novikovs, the Pavlos, the Adam Bishops. Uh, the bigger guys are really, really going to struggle on this event because it's so far away from them. That centre of gravity's off point makes it so much harder. So uh, I've got... Oh, it's really tough to say. I think I've got Bishop for the win. I've got Novikov for a second on this. So uh, let's get into it. <laughs> friend you just won that yeah. was it two and a three quarter rotations world record business, yes. <laughs> absolutely world record yeah absolutely incredible mate how did that feel on your back and hamstrings it's okay i'm recovering my breeze now i only feel some some little pain in my lower back just because uh medley log deadlift Going on, it, my body felt it. <laughs> it's a lot of posterior chain, isn't it? It's uh, yeah, it's a lot. Next event's out the stones. I think there's three points between you and Novikov. Yeah, it's only three points between me and Alexi, and I guess if I will get my chance, I will use it. Out the stones is a really good event for you. So I mean, you're going to give your best performance. We've got Will Strong's one in two weeks, and as we know, we've seen in the past, and it takes one fumble and you can take a whole event win. So uh, what's the plan for the Atlas Sims? Give it your all? Uh, I'll try to do as fast as possible and 
uh, uh, not get injury because Worlds it uh, will be soon, and I'm I'm looking forward to Worlds, so I'm trying to take care of my health. Yeah. Okay. Good man. Good luck. Wish you all the best, mate. Thank you. You see, this is the problem with the Conan's Wheel event. It's so taxing on the lower back and the hamstrings. This is exactly what it does. So as you can see, Novikov here is probably cramping. He's got all the all the lactic acid build up in his quad, in his glutes. Sorry, his hamstrings, his lower back, his arms, uh, and we've still got a very heavy event to go. We've got Atlas Stones up to I think it's a hundred and no, sorry, it might even be a two hundred kilo Atlas Stone. The last one. So I'm just going to chance my luck and hopefully don't get told to F off. I don't want to distract you. Ooh. Good man, mate. Absolutely phenomenal. Not the win, but second place. That's all you need in points. Could you have gone more? Uh, I did what I want. Of course, uh, better was if I make a new world record, but Ukraine record hoarder now. Yeah. It's okay for me. And uh, I a little bit... Uh, I complete my energy for next event. It's very hard, you know, five uh, events, too close, uh, t not, not too much time for rest, and all sportsmen were retired and can't recover for next event. And uh, it's hard competition. It's a very hard competition. Atlas turns up next, you've got three points I think between first and second, you're in first. So what's the plan for the stones? You're just going to fresh it out, get them all quick as you can, or are you going to conserve a bit? What's the plan? Uh, plan, uh, very easy. Uh, work on uh, how much uh, fast you can. Yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, the, the easiest way. It is. So no conserving, going for the kill. Europe's strongest man, hopefully, is going to be yours. Good luck, brother. Thank, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Right, I'm on the magic door of results. In the lead is Alexei Novikov with 48.5. Three points behind is Pablo on 45.5. Avior's Schmuckstellis on 38.5. Melstead on 34.5. And Bishop on 33.5. So, I mean, I think second and third, Avior's is going to stay in third place, I think. So, Avior's is going to come third. Now, it's definitely going to be between Alexi and Pavlo. Um, both have got a good chance of winning the Stones. And I guess it's down to who makes a mistake, really. Um, happens quite commonly, that pressure in that last event, such a big event, Europe's Strongest Man, um, people fold. And you know, it takes one slip up and you can become last, basically. So, I mean, gut instinct, Novikov's going to be fine. He's going to fly it up. He's going to win the show. Um, but anything can happen. So I think the standings are going to be Novikov first, Pavlo second, and Schmutz Tellis in third. So, uh, but Atlas Stones to go, anything can happen. Here we go. <laughs> Like Magnus just said, it's not over till the fat lady sings. Um, don't know the results yet, but Pablo just threw five stones up in 20 point something seconds, which puts him in at least top three. And Novikov, tacky malfunction, I don't know, we'll catch up with Novikov in a little bit. Couldn't get the fifth stone up, which means he's lost that three point lead, which I'm fairly sure Pablo's won the event. Alexi second, Schmuck Stelix in third. Waiting for the final confirmation, but I'm fairly sure that's the way it is. Um, we'll catch up with Pablo and Alexi in two seconds, see what went on. Bro, that is so unfortunate. Tacky, shirt, what was the problem? Uh, Atlas, too dodgy. The Atlas Stone. Atlas Stone. What are you, your skin? Ah, look at the hand. So the Atlas Stone's breaking up. Today I lose. Today you lose, another day you won't. Yes, but I know I never give up. Good man. Thank you, Novikov. Take care, man. Pablo, great work, man. Europe's strongest man 2023. How does it feel? I can't 
getting clears it, getting imagines that yet. I guess it takes time, but I'm really happy. It's like I, I won my own battle. Amazing, mate. I mean, to win your strongest man, we've got Will Strongest Man literally in 10 days. So you've always got that in the back of your mind. Are you conserving for each event? But you've given it your all. You dominated this event. Will Strongest Man in two weeks. Similar events to this. So how are you feeling for Will Strongest Man? You guys from USA, mass counting with me. Awesome, man. <laughs> well, I want to say good luck. I'll see you out at Worlds. And uh, yeah, awesome, man. Just great job. Right, just saying hello to another Europe's Strongest Man fan. Who, what's your name? Amy Drover. Hello. Amazing. And uh, who have you come here supporting tonight? Alexei Novikov and Pavlo. Really? You've come yeah. to support the Ukrainians? Yeah. You're from England? Yeah. And you're supporting the Ukrainians? Yeah, they were the best, yeah. You know what? It's actually really nice to see. Awesome. Thank you. Come on. You're absolutely welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great Thank night. you. Thank you. Thank you. Right then, guys, that is a wrap for Europe's Strongest Man 2023. Uh, a really in-depth behind the scenes with you guys there, interviewing all the athletes, a little bit of the crowd, even the directors. Um, I thought this was just, just do something completely different this time. Um, if you want to watch the entire show, you've got to head over to officialstrongman.com to watch the complete live stream. Or, of course, in the UK, it'll be on Channel 5 uh, on your TVs at Christmas time. So, um, till then... I hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Big love. Ooh.